What's up everybody? Today's video is specifically about wedding edits and I'm just going to share how I sort my footage and how I begin my edit in the most efficient way that I've figured out how to. Just so you know, it is for Premiere Pro only if you use Final Cut. I'm sorry, I've never used it before and I don't know how. So I hope this helps all you Premiere users. Let's jump right into it. So first things first, I'm going to open up my Finder, go into Little Debra. And we're gonna look at Amanda and Levi. So I have all the footage sorted between two cameras, the GH4 and the GH5. So this is just all the raw clips that my second shooter took. And these are all the raw clips that I took. And these are just straight off the SD cards. Obviously you can tell by the, the labels. Now let's open up Premiere Pro. So let's do a new project. And we're gonna entitle this Wedding Edit Super Fast, yo. So we have a blank project here. Awesome. Go back to your finder. I'm going to grab Amanda and Levi here from my little hard drive. Drop that entire thing into Premiere. We're going to watch this import. So we're going to double click this. It's going to open up this bin here. And I want to start by editing the footage that I took on my GH5. So I'm going to double click this. Get rid of this guy. It opened up this separate bin here, which is great. Make this a little bigger. Make these a little bigger. So here's the first important thing you need to remember. This is like reception footage. I want this to be chronological, so I'm gonna sort it by name. So since my files are off the SD card, it has them in order chronologically. So this is my first clip, and this is my last clip, which is exactly what we want. You gotta pay attention to these little tricks here, and they're really gonna help if you remember them. Okay, here we go. So here's my first clip that I wanna look through. I wanna see if there's any footage in here that I wanna put in my project. So I'm going to double click this, it's going to open this first clip up in the source monitor here. So I want to go to the very beginning of this clip. Get your magic fingers out. These guys are going to save your life, these three fingers. So remember J, K, and L. Those are the first three things you got to remember. So hitting L is going to start playing the clip forward. So there's L. If you hit it twice, it will go twice as fast. Three times, three times as fast. Okay, got that? Sweet. All right, go back to the beginning. L will start your clip, it's going forward. K will stop the playing. So K stopped my clip. L started it, K stops it. J will rewind your clip. So it's rewinding, hit it twice, it goes twice as fast, and so on. So those three fingers, those three keys are essential in this quick edit. The next two keys you have to remember are I and O. So I is gonna set your in point and O is gonna set your out point, pretty straightforward. So let's say we're gonna go forward with L, let's start playing it, let's say we wanna start the clip here. So I'm gonna stop it with K, I'm gonna hit I, and it started my little in point here, see that? Cool. So let's go forward with L, and let's say we want the clip to end right there, hit K, and hit O to set the out point. So now you can see that Premiere has this little piece of the clip, the piece that I really want in the final film selected here for me. J, K, and L to go backwards, stop, and forward, and then you have I to set your in point, and O to set your out point. And you can get pretty dang fast with that. Okay, we have a blank timeline here, which means we need to take this clip and drop it in here. So there's two ways you can do that. First is this little icon here, you can take just the video. If you know you don't want the audio, you can just start it right there, there's no audio to worry about. Undo that. If you want audio with it, just grab right here on her face and just drop that whole thing in there. So now that I have that in there, I wanna make my sequence settings correct. I shot all of this in 60 FPS so I could use slow motion. So it's showing up as 60 because that's the, the format of that file. I'm gonna change this to RE Cinema and 23.976 is what I usually go for. So now it's playing back, hit OK. So now it's playing back at a regular 24 FPS frame rate. Next important thing, you gotta remember these. Okay, so take your little scrubber here, get it close to the end of your clip. Use your right arrow key to click over until this screen becomes black. This is where it gets nice and fast. So now we're gonna go back into this bin here, look at our next clip, double click it to bring it up. Go back to the very beginning, and you're gonna do your, your L forward and set your in and out points. So L is forward, I want some of that, hit I, stop it there, hit O, stop it there. Okay, this is super important. Now that we have our timeline set up with our sequence settings, when we set our in and out points of our next clips, all we have to do to get those clips into our timeline is hit comma. That drops it in, you can drop it in as many times as you want. 
and it's super fast. I'm just gonna show you how I do this now. Go to our next clip, go to the beginning, forward, I want some of that. Hit O for out, comma, drops it in. Go to this one, go to the beginning, start it, get her dancing, set my in point, set my out point, hit comma, that one's in there. So you can just get really fast with this style of editing with these techniques, especially if you have a beefy computer that can like do twice the speed or triple the speed. Just drink some coffee before you start editing and you'll just be like lightning, it's amazing. Okay, as you can see here, now we have all of our good footage in our timeline. We don't have to worry about sorting through any more of the garbage footage. All the good footage is in there, which is amazing. It can be kind of overwhelming to see all these clips next to each other. How do we cut this down efficiently? Well, here's how I do it. All this footage here is the girls getting ready. So instead of having all our footage be the same color, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, highlight all the footage of the girls getting ready, and I'm gonna label that with a color. I'm gonna pick rose. It's easy for me to remember. All this footage is the guys getting ready. So I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna color code it. Let's go with forest, green. I know this is all the ceremony stuff, so I'm going to label that this color. And then the rest is just reception footage. And I'm gonna label all of that gold because it was during golden hour. So, so now in our timeline, we have all of our best footage from the day and everything is color coded by which part of the day we were shooting. That's pretty much how you get started in a really efficient way. You can blaze through footage like this. So I really hope this helped you guys out. It's increased my editing speed so much and people are happy when they get their videos back faster. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I'm releasing tons of stuff all the time and it would mean a lot to me if you did. Good luck with your guys' edits. This doesn't just apply to weddings. I really hope that this helps you guys out and happy editing everybody. See you later.